yeah, I, I felt that it was really interesting as well. Um, with that whole, with the whole comment, because, you know, the way I kind of took it was, well, if spring doesn't go so well in terms of that, <clears throat> does he, does he pull back on the reins a little bit? It's like, ah, I think I'm going to do this. So, you know, I think that's one of the biggest, you know, most tangible things we can take out of it. Uh, kind of moving away from the Ryan Day situation. Uh, we were kind of talking about this a little before we went live on the air. Uh, Mark Pantoni, we had the chance to talk to him, as Tony had mentioned, and um, comments about uh, the amount of time that they spend in the portal. They have a full-time person who that's his job. His job is to focus solely on the portal. Pantoni went on to say that he watches film eight nine hours a day which i don't i don't doubt at all uh that's you know he he kind of created a position in the college football world everybody else is kind of caught up and, and created that type of position and mark pantoni has kind of stayed ahead of everybody in terms of what it takes there but the most interesting thing is in this day and age of nil if a kid is too NIL focused, if it's just all about the money, my words, not his words, if it's all about the money. They may pull out, you know, they may pull out from recruiting a kid because I mean, Ohio state certainly has NIL opportunities, but at, at, at least of this day, February 2nd, 2023, uh, Ohio state is not front loading kids as they come in and paying them to enroll. And um, I think that some people will be interested in seeing if a kid, a high profile, a top 15, top 25 type of kid is not being recruited by Ohio State or suddenly is stopped being recruited by Ohio State, what people are going to think of that. And I think that there's going to be very real instances because you only have so many so many hours that you can put into this. So you, they haven't invented a 25th hour of the day. So if a kid is all about the money, again, my words, and Ohio State is not playing that game, why sink a lot of time in that kid? You can only convince them for so long. Yeah, you could sit there and go for the short-term windfall or you could go for the long-term payday. And we have a, you know, we at Ohio State have this record of developing kids. And not only are we going to get you into the league, but, you know, as long as you keep working and hold up your end of the bargain, get you to a second contract where you create generational wealth, if a kid wants that short-term payday, um, probably not a, the best fit at Ohio State. 